Today we're comparing a couple launch monitors. We've got the Bushnell Launch Pro and we're gonna compare it to the Trackmans that we use here for our tour van fittings at Second Swing. Tom will hit a few shots. We'll see if the numbers from each launch monitor are similar. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka in the tour van today with a new product, but not a golf club. It is the Bushnell Launch Pro Launch Monitor. Uh, so Thomas, kind of a big you know, uh, combination of Bushnell and Foresight here, joining forces to put this item together. It's a fantastic looking item. You can tell it does a ton of stuff. So. Um, I know you've done a bunch of research on it. Um, give me kind of your first take on this item as it stands by itself. Like, you know, what are golfers going to get? What are the benefits of it? Yeah, so you mentioned it's this, it Foresight and Bushnell. It's, it's pretty much the same unit. So it's the, yeah. it's, it's the Foresight GC3. Okay. Um, so Bushnell Launch Pro, it is a subscription-based model. Okay. Well, the Foresight GC3 is basically a, a one-time payment yep. uh, unlocking of FSX software is okay. what, what it is. So there's a little bit of difference there, um, but it's the exact same firmware. So the unit is the exact same. Actually, the GC3 comes with a little logo of Bushnell on it as well. So okay. they're basically take the, the same company right now is taking over both and they're kind of merging together. Um, yeah. So there's going to be a good partnership between Bushnell and Foresight going forward. Yeah, and so clearly, I mean, Bushnell's been a leader in rangefinders for how long now? And then Foresight, of course, has one, been one of the top in terms of, uh, you know, the launch monitor space. So they're kind of combining together here to put this together. This is the Launch Pro. Uh, so the initial payment is $3,000 for this as of right now. Uh, but then, you know, depending on the subscription that you want to get to and the services that you want from it, that's where you can get pay a little bit more on top of that. Um, so it, it'll obviously be likely more than you know the ask the initial retail price if you're going to kind of really enjoy the full benefits of it. Yeah, the the, the basic subscription is free for the, for the first year. It's ninety nine dollars after year one. Basically, it's FSX Pro. Um, it's kind of similar to what you get with TrackMan fitting data, but it would be limited to um, your, your ball speed, mm -hmm. um, your, your club speed, your spin rate total distance. Yeah, kind of the more basic data. More, more basic um, data there too. Mm -hmm. But there's other subscription models out there. So you have a silver subscription model. So the silver subscription model, it's $399 a year. Um, that basically unlocks FSX 2020 and then possibly FSX Play when that comes out there as well. So you get the Foresight range. So the Foresight range is the 3D uh, range that you get to play on. You can play courses. It comes with five different courses. Uh, and you get to record your sessions and everything mm -hmm. like that. But that still only comes with your, your basic ball data, essentially. Right. Right. Um, the third subscription model you've got is uh, the, the gold subscription. You can either pay $7.99 a year, or you can actually um, buy it unlocked. And that's where the similarities become in because, you know, for example, GC3, it's for $7,000, is unlocked. The only problem is they sold out basically the moment they went on right. pre-sale. Um, so right now you're on your option right now if you want to get this unit is going the route of Bushnell or if you work with a, uh, a Foresight rep you have to add on their, um, their birdie package with their, with their hitting screen and everything mm -hmm. like that or even add on a, a course package is the only way you can kind of get in line right now. Yeah. It's, uh, it's just that, that time where there's just a high demand for this product and they're, this right. Where right now they've gone through a couple of already pre-sales and basically within I mean, it, minutes there's, they're selling out. There's an unprecedented demand for this stuff. And I think, you know, as golf has kind of really taken off over the last couple of years, you know, a lot of the country can't play golf for the winter months. And right. so that's where you're seeing this in particular come in where they can set up something at their house, maybe in the garage, whatever it might be, set up with one of these units and you get all kinds of, you know, data. And then of course, depending on the subscription, get more of that data, swing data, um, and things like that. So Yeah, so uh, coming back to the gold subscription. The gold sub subscription includes club data. So you do actually get in the package here these little silver dots. So these little silver dots here, what this does is it helps pick up um, your, your club path. Mm -hmm. It helps pick up attack angle, um, descent angle, and height, and it kind of unlocks that. Um, so you put the one little dot just on the top of the 
up in the middle of the face up towards the top, and it's going to pick up that. Now, okay. Foresight, they also have a GC Quad. Right. GC Quad has four cameras. This only has three. So this is the one dot system with the GC3 or the Bushnell Launch Pro. Yep. If you want more data, if you want your face angle, if you want, um, what else we got? If you, if you want to get your uh, dynamic loft, mm -hmm. or you want to get the, the dynamic lie angle, that's when you would need to have a GC4, and that's when you would put more than one dot on the club. Okay, okay. So, so I that's mean, the difference. There is, I mean, it's, it's actually amazing how much these uh, you know, products do offer. So Right, um, and you're going to be paying quite a lot more for that. You know I mean? Right, you're talking oh, yeah. $7,000 fully unlocked versus $18,000. Right. You know, it's, it's a big change, and it's kind of an interesting point because there really hasn't been too much in this price point where you can get the extra club data. Um, there's, there's some units out there that are trying to bring that price rate down, but it's either you get everything or you get limited is right. what it at. And it's kind of trying to fit the, the middle essentially right now. Yeah, and so I think the next point then is we want to test out the, the accuracy of the data that is right. offered initially. And of course, you know, we get that extra data with the description that you will pay for. Maybe you buy you know, the, the entire package together. Uh, but we've got kind of the basic data with the Bushnell Launch Pro here, and we've got our track bands that we use in second swing tour van fitting. So we're gonna set them both up. We've got you know, our, our screen behind us here, and we're gonna hit some shots. We'll see how the data compares. Maybe a few with kind of a variety of clubs, and just see how accurate and how close things are. I would imagine they're gonna be very close. Um, you know, very minor differences probably, you know, for sure within a yard, but uh, we'll see what, we'll see what you know, ultimately the test tells us here. So um, right. what do you think, what clubs do you think we should hit for this? Yeah, so we'll, we'll hit like a, maybe like sand wedge, seven iron and driver. Uh, one thing I'll bring up to accuracy, like, you know, TrackMan, you get the environment perfect with TrackMan. We have the, um, we have the RCT golf ball today. Yep. So it's also, we're not gonna have any spin issues or anything like that. So I'm going to guess the numbers are gonna be very, very yeah. close. They get there different ways, radar based versus camera based. Uh, but as long as you get the environment right, TrackMan is great inside. Oh, absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. you know, foresight units have always been great inside with their with a camera-based system. Um, so it really depends on the space that you're trying to work with. Right, right. And you know, we've got some extra lighting in our in our studio bay here at the Second Swing Tour van. So um, we're well lit. We've got both of these items here, and I know there's a ton of demand for these. So uh, let's see how they test out. All right. So Thomas, we've got both units set up. We've got the TrackMan data on the screen, and we've got foresight. Um, or excuse me, the Bushnell Launch Pro set up right next to the ball there. So we're measuring the same exact golf shots here. Right, yeah, and the, uh, the, the Bushnell Pro is not subscribed yet, so we don't have access to the actual data up here. This, yeah. But we're gonna look at, the numbers are gonna be right on the screen mm -hmm. here, and we're gonna take some The device will tell us what the you know, measurements are. Right. So we'll do a comparison here. All right, let's first start with Sand Wedge. All right, so we've got ball speed of 88.6, launch angle 28.4, and spin rate of 10,555. All right. So how close were we? What did we, we get on the Pro? 88.7, 28.7 with the launch. So yeah, within a little bit of e each one there. Spin rate, 10,589. Wow. Yeah, they're pretty darn close. Pretty, on the first pretty shot darn there. close. Carry distance, 105.5. And then I think we have carry distance here of 106. Okay. So, good start. So we're within half of a yard. We're within a, basically a tenth of a mile an hour ball speed. Spin was within like 40 RPM. <laughs> right. Which at the 10,000 plus level, that's pretty darn accurate. All right. So we got ball speed 87.8, launch angle 27.7, spin rate 1,030, 1,000, 10,000. 10,319. 10, so we got 88.2, so it's by 0.4 with regards to ball speed. Launch angle 27.7, launch angle 28.5. Carry 106, uh, carry 105.1. And then spin rate here is off by 10,319, 10,392. Okay. So, That's, I think this was a little bit more you know, uh, d more of a discrepancy on the second shot, but it's still, the, the I mean, the angle was a difference. We're still there, nitpicking, but ultimately right. it's, you know, we're just, we're noticing a couple of differences there. We're talking within, I that mean, was 0.7. Percentage-wise, it's, it's still very accurate. Yeah, but. carry distance 0.09, yeah. so. 
Okay, ball speed 88.3, launch angle 28.2, spin rate 10,252. Uh, if we take a look at the launch pro numbers here, let's take a look here, 88.4, so off point 0 0.1. 28.8, 28.2. So yeah, I mean, we're talking, they're yeah. all very, very close. Mm -hmm. Carry 106, carry 105.5, 10, 10,284, 10,252. Oh, wow. yeah. I think we can pretty much conclude with Wedge anyway, that the differences are very minor um, between any of these, the kind of the basic uh, data points that you get from the Bushnell Launch Pro compared to TrackMan, pretty minor differences here. Right, yeah, head to head. When you know you got the environment right, TrackMan, we've got camera base. They're mm -hmm. basically the same numbers. Right. And well, I've always said in in fittings um, that ball speed is number one, and we get the ball speed data. Mm -hmm. you, you add in the the smash factor a little bit there. Right. Both units are going to pick up the, the club speed a little bit different, so that's going to change that up a little sure. bit. Sure. Yeah. You. Ultimately, the ball speed though is the most consistent factor across you know both types of yeah. units. All launch monitors essentially. Right. Yeah. Um, all right, seven iron time now. Let's see if the accuracy continues. One twenty four point two, launch angle at nineteen and spin rate six thousand and eight. So we got one twenty four, launch angle nineteen point four. So yeah, kind of right there again. 6,080, 6,008. So <laughs> the last two numbers are flip flop, but yeah, yeah we're talking within 72 that's, that's, RPMs. Of that's spin. impressive. Yep. You know, I, I, don't, I, I, I don't know what my hypothesis would be like, because, you know, we've seen before with kind of how, like, and I'm kind of, this is not really a, a, an apples to apples comparison, but I'm just thinking of like the, you know, when we did premium balls versus range balls and stuff. We've tested those in the past, and it's been like similar on like a seven iron, but then you go to wedge and driver and it was way off. But so I'm, I'm, I'm in my mind, I'm like, oh, maybe a farther shot will make some larger differences. But no, that's almost the exact same numbers from both units the exact there. same numbers. Yeah, yeah, 174 carry versus 175. So mm -hmm. yeah, pretty good. 124.9, launch angle 18.8, .8, spin rate 60.12. Basically in the same shot. <laughs> is, I mean, I mean, your spin. <laughs> 124 ball speed, carry 175, 60, 63, launch angle at 19.1, launch angle okay. at 18.8. Also look at your uh, deviation on spin. I know, it's gonna be hard, <laughs> it's gonna be hard to keep, and yeah, it's gonna be hard to keep that up. But I again, like the challenge. I mean, uh, they're very accurate on both ends here, right? Because right. there's very, very little differences <laughs> so far. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I mean, pretty impressed right now with, with I mean, both units, the mm -hmm. fact that they're both right. given the exact same numbers. All right, ball speed, 125.2, launch angle 18.2, spin 57.21. Okay, so we have ball speed, 125, spin rate 57.11, off wow. by 10 yep. RPMs, and launch angle 18.2 versus 18.7. Carry 177, carry 178.7. All right. Yeah. Three, I think three iron shots we've got. I mean, they're all essentially within the same yard. numbers again. Yeah, so. within a yard and the spin rate. Wow, that's pretty good. It's, I mean, you're talking, we're, we're getting within, you know, 50 RPM on every shot with, you know, and, and even with wedge too, where we were up in the 10,000 range. Now we're in kind of a more 6,000 range, but it's still, you know, within, you know, again, 50 RPM. That's, that's pretty cool to see. So. Um, driver now. I'm curious. Right. This is where it's going to this is gonna be a good challenge here. Cause, yeah, cause yeah this be is interesting. Where it's a completely different shot, especially from iron and wedge. Driver is going to be totally different. So I'm, I'm very curious. Well, let's take a look. 163.5, All right. So ball speed here. We have 163.5, launch angle 14.0, spin rate 2068. Speed 162, um, spin rate 2244. Okay. Launch angle at 14.0 versus 14.8. Okay. Pretty good. Carry 284, mm -hmm. carry 290. So it's interesting that the Bushnell gave me a little bit higher carry distance with a little bit more spin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the spin difference there kind of changed up the carry distance a little bit. Yep. Uh, where the spin was, what was it, about a 
150 RPM difference yeah, uh, it's, between it's, the two. So. Yeah, it's just a little under 200 okay. RPM difference. Interesting, interesting. All right, yep. we've got a couple more shots here. All right, so we got 163.4, launch 13.7, spin rate 22.76. 162 mile an hour with the ball speed, launch angle 13.7 versus 14.1, okay. spin 22.76 versus 22.91. So the spin there was super close. Yeah, and they gave um, the carry distance three yards further here yeah. with the Bush Snow launch pro versus the uh, Interesting. Trackman. Maybe that was due to the, a minor difference in launch angle. Um, right. But th the fact that they came back strong there and you know the spin was almost the same worth noting. And again, we're, we're still nitpicking. Like right, now right we're now. talking about but the ball going further. Yeah. So we were talking three yards. Yeah. You divide that into you know, 283. Obviously that's right. I mean, we're still, it's not it's, even a percentage. Yeah, right. Yeah. No, it's still within like a percent, so. Yeah. Okay, 163.7, launch 13.7, spin rate 22.74, speed 163. 14.3 versus 13.7, mm -hmm. 22.47 with the Bushnell Launch Pro, 22.74. Okay. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, I'm impressed with the results. Yeah, I mean, you got a lot of, I'm, I'm impressed by the spin being the same. Yeah. Um, I mean, there was a, that first shot was like 150, I think It was about difference. 180 RPM but difference. But after yeah. that, it, everything was within like 50, I think. Right. Every shot wedged to driver. So, um, you know, I think this shows, I mean, clearly there's, a ton of, of you know technology packed into here to, to get all that data you know they go camera based go radar based whatever it might be but um, I mean now it's it's to the point now how how picky of a golfer are you how in de in detail are you as a golfer right. where it, you know 550 rpm on your shot is going to make a huge difference for you um, and there are people out there that are like that mm -hmm. uh, I just know the vast majority of golfers are not that particular about it yeah. And then also depending on the subscription model you go with, you can obviously get more data. Right. You could you can get this thing for three thousand dollars, and you can just have the basic yeah. FSX software, um, FSX Pro, and it's got limited data. You pay a little more, you, you get, a lot, get right. a lot more. You know, fully unlocked, seven thousand dollars. You can take this to the range with you as well. You can use your iPad mm -hmm. as as well. So that's a, it's a great option there too. You can so it's play golf courses. You can play golf I mean, courses. The other thing too, you could just buy that as it is, set up an, a net in your garage and hit and get the data right here. You know, right. you could do that, or you could bring that to the driving range, do the same thing, just hit some shots and get these numbers. And then obviously, as you talk about subscriptions, more data, more information, more features, playing uh, challenges, playing golf courses, you know, there's so much you can do. So if you are that golfer that for X number of months of the year, you're, you're inside, it's winter, there's snow on the ground, you can't go outside and golf. Uh, and you're serious about you know keeping your swing intact and playing golf all year. The, one of these items, you know, is the Bushnell Launch Pro is is a great find uh, to to add to your you know golf game to keep it going, keep it, your swing moving through the through the whole year. So I am impressed with this device here. So one other added bonus you get with with this unit here is you do have an alignment stick. Okay. So you can calibrate your 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 alignment. Um, you also so I'm actually putting this down right now and it's actually telling me based on the alignment where, where I'm at right there, and it's actually changing how far off I am to the right or to the left just oh, nice. by that. Okay. And you can calibrate inside and outside, um, left-handed and right-handed. So you can go to the settings, you can change it from left-handed to right-handed. So if mm -hmm. you have a right-handed golfer hitting right here, left-handed golfer hitting right here, all you gotta do is move it and then click left-handed. You can always put this down to calibrate to be, to be safe as well. So that's another nice. added bonus. Um, it is Bluetooth and wireless capable as well. Wow, so, so I mean, it's, it's convenient in right. addition to just, um, you know, very innovative as well, so. It's, it's stylish, just you got a little is. handle here, you pick it up, you Look can take that. it to the range with you and. Look at that, easy, yeah. easy to, to move around, uh, very convenient device. Also, again, very innovative. So great stuff from Bushnell and Foresight um, with this technology, with this device. And then I guess, depending on, and then for you, the golfer, it's kind of about financially how you want to attack it. You know, you can, um, with this device, you can kind of do the subscription base. Otherwise, you can go all in um, and, and pay for the, you know, unlocked everything. So golfers, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Uh, leave a comment, tell us what you think about the Bushnell Watch Pro. 
Uh, Thomas, thank you for joining today, giving us all the information on the Bushnell Launch Pro. This is going to be a big one here uh, moving into 2022. Not a problem. I'm very pleasantly surprised to see how accurate the data is.